That's why I'm not all that angry. Because I don't really expect to beat this PB anytime soon. If ever again. Yeah, PB is personal best. In this particular instance, it's also record. But the only other um, point of uh, but the only other point of uh, potential competition being thermal. Who had like a 41. I easily beat his uh, PB by like 6 minutes. In the time span of 12 hours. This is the only game I can actually say that I'm actually relatively okay at. And even then, there's still things I could do better. Such as these constant 129s. A 127 is very possible. It's not particularly easy. Oh shit. <clears throat> yeah, there's a few areas of time safe that's really, really easy for me to get. The easiest way that I can beat this PB is if we manage to finally get rid of load times, but at the moment that's not particularly uh, possible. We don't have like a timer for that, and everyone's loading times are different. <coughs> if, uh... If true, any percent is any indicator. Do I split when I get to the portal? Because that's a 133 uh, split. And that would only make sense if I split when I get to the portal. That only makes sense if I split there.
The new headset sounds great. Nice. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's time loss. Not much time loss, though. Interesting. Yeah, it doesn't glitch out for now. Um... It will in a given a couple of years, I'd imagine. Because that's how long the last one lasted. Lasted since 2016. <laughs> yeah, it came in way earlier than I expected it to. No, 2016, just like really early on. I started commentating in 2015. People don't realize, or people don't remember that because it was like really late 2015. Because that was around the time that my last one went out. Like, my first, I want to say, 12 commentaries. Were like my oldest headset out of the ones that I used. And then I got one in... Jesus, fuck, did I really screw that up? Yeah. Uh, then I got a new one around that time. Maybe? Might have been first 20. Whenever you can hear the significant increase in quality in my, uh, audio. <clears throat> no, you know what? Because I, I knew Skeleton Nation back then. So that had to have been fucking March or April, actually. Oh, fuck.
I'm saving so much time. Oh, my run was near perfect. What happened? Is my run actually really that bad? Oh, uh, well, this one's pretty bad too, actually. The fact that it can keep up with my PB. Oh, you know what? I know why my why my PB was still close to perfect. I had really good RNG. And that's everything in this fucking run. Bad Labyrinth War. That was a really, really bad Labyrinth War. Ah, this place is a tip. Fuck, is that paint on the walls? The fuck was that elevator? It's actually pretty okay. Uh, I'm probably in the red by now, actually. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I'm 14 sec- How the fuck did I lose 11 seconds to how dare? You have an irrational fear of closing elevator doors? Ah. Uh. Yeah, in this um in this run we uh we break the elevator. Uh so we can break into the basement faster without having to do seven minutes of puzzles. It's a lot easier than it sounds. Ah shit. That was a really, really bad Altin Seal. I probably lost that at 14 seconds that I had initially. We'll figure out from left sand pit. Um, 
no, we actually didn't lose that much time. We lost three seconds. We don't grab that, I don't think. Did we grab that? I don't think we grabbed that. Yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, we probably did grab that. If I saved three seconds on that split. Or maybe I was just really fast at bar taps for once. That is a possibility, I guess. Maldives? I don't know what you're talking about. I really need to focus, though. I shouldn't be reading chat. This will require... It requires an actual a lot amount of focus, actually, to, uh, to fucking do this puzzle... ...fast. But I have no idea what Maldives is. Thank you for the host, Thermal. Welcome to a run that's definitely not gonna PV. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, as I was saying, definitely not gonna PV. I'm doing a worker run right now, so... Which has, like, the fucking craziest PV that I have, for sure, for sure. 29 is not easy to get. And it requires a lot of luck. Like, la uh, late game. So... Blech. <laughs> Alright, actually not bad. I saved like a second still. Even after that flub up. Somehow.
get the POI. Oh, come on. Wow, come on. Get the vinyl. That was so bad. Five seconds lost to meadow ball things. Here's where I fully expect the run to die. Alright, let's go. Phone RNG was, like, godlike, and then teleporter, I think we just did, like, what, two? So, yeah, we're, we're looking at a really, really tough PB here. We're looking at, uh, a lot of RNG to have to beat here. Nine. Okay, it's in this building again. Nine, eight. Oh, pretty lucky, actually. Nine, eight, nine. Really bad code RNG. Oh no, it's back in the first cabin. Nine eight nine seven. Jesus. Two, three, four, five, just barely.
I'm gonna pick my plant. Dude, am I actually gonna beat my PB? There's no way. There's no way. Something's gotta happen. Something's gotta give. I even get the meteor, too! What the fuck? I could PB. This can fucking PB. Not by much, but this game PB comes down to this portal room. Repeat B by seven seconds. No way. Now we just need to see if it's a, a worker run. Because if this is a fucking worker run, we PB. I actually managed to PB what I thought was a really near perfect run. With a very mediocre run. I thought beating a 29 was going to be difficult. And 29 still not necessarily beaten, but... It just, it comes down to this cutscene. It comes down to this. Twelve minutes of tension. Let's go. <laughs> Twelve fucking minutes of tension. Oh boy. A near perfect run met with a fucking mediocre a shit run means the original run was not that good, but I didn't say it was impossible. I said it was hard. I said it was going to be very, very hard because I am matching up with a I was matching up with something that was, at the time, god-tier. I mean, it's only going to get harder from here. 2944? Presuming this is now record? That's going to be pretty fucking... That's, that's, a, that's a trick to beat. It's going to be very, very tricky to beat. And it mainly comes down to fucking RNG. A lot of this run, a lot of worker is um, built on how good of how good RNG you got. Theoretically, I could get a twenty-seven in this game. Yeah, this is this is the number one record. In fairness, the only other competition is Thermal, who hasn't ran this in months, and is like. 10 minutes behind my, uh, my PB. And he's got, like, 10 minutes of free time save, so. So 
Speaking of which, Therm, when, uh, when Trifecta? You know, you know all three runs now. No should be used very loosely. Well, you get the general idea of them. You've done a Montague's run. You should still remember most of the tricks for Dream. And you've seen how Ether runs. Actually, when Ether runs, just in general, you haven't done a true Bedlamite run. That's fair, but you know the you know the tricks for it. You know the route. It's um, you go straight for the bed, you go straight for the desert, you QP off the sign into the uh, into the computer platform. You type in Dr. Mason, DRX289, then uh, start the experiment, skip the experiment, clear the experiment, then get the CPM, do the thermal jump, go to Nightmare 3, clock out, head back in, go to the office dream, beeline for the elevator, do elevator skip, go to Nightmare 2, clock out of Nightmare 2, go to Nightmare 3, do, uh, the Ultensila computer with the password change me. Do the bar taps. Two, four, five, six, seven, or no. Two, four, five, seven, eight, ten, eleven. I think that's it. And then you go, then you go to the conveyors. You do all of the conveyor puzzle. Then you move to, you, you kind of beeline it for the, uh, for, uh, the phones. You do phones, then you can teleport anywhere else on the fucking map that's not, like, right next to where you're at. And then go to Nightmare 3, then you do the new Nightmare 3 skip where you, uh, walk in until Howard says, uh, to go get a drink, and then you just clock out. And that saves you like three minutes from uh, from doing the Nightmare 3 regularly. And there you go, that's the run. Then you go back in, go to the portal, and uh, do the 12 minute section of uh, whether or not you get a Bedlamite or not. Speaking of which, we got a, we got a worker run, boys. Look at that. Twenty nine forty four is now the record for worker. Let's go. No one's gonna fucking beat this shit because no one fucking runs this game except me and maybe Thermal. Maybe he'll come back to it one of these days. And then I've got a few other people who say they're going to but never do. <laughs> Brandon, Capri, Rachel, Silver, Nixo, Mave.
Yeah. Now I have TP, I think, interested in it, sorta. Yeah, no, it's like, I'll give you shit all I- It's like, I will give you shit, Thermal, for putting down the game. But at least you ran it. <laughs> at least you have a time. <laughs> it's like, I can give you shit all I want. I- At least you have a time. At least you ran the game. At least you learned the tricks. I'll give you all the credit in the world for that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you only ran it two, twice, but you still ran it. That's, that's, that's the point. The point is you at least tried. You at least gave it an attempt. You gave it, like, a fair shake. And as much shit as I'll give you for putting it down, you at least did it. With that said, I do kind of wish you would come back, come back to the game. True, and he was rough. Kappa, kappa. Um. But yeah, no. I do kind of wish you would come back to this game. I know why you don't want to, but... I do wish you would come back to this game. Uh, because Bedlamite is not very well optimized. You could still get record from that. Workers optimized to hell and back. Rider? I don't think I have everything figured out for Rider. I feel like there are better ways to do Rider, and I haven't quite hit that, like, note yet. And then there's all the miscellaneous categories that aren't very well optimized, because I don't play them as often. Like, there's the- there, I now have a all-puzzles, uh, an all-puzzles category, uh, that- is basically you just do all of the puzzles like normal, but then you also do the graveyard puzzle. It's the only... It's the only category to require all puzzles. Like, to only... It's the only category that requires the, the graveyard puzzle. Otherwise, you, you don't need to do graveyard puzzle at all. But it's the only one that does. And that one's not very optimized, because that's, that's still a new category. I think I've only ran it twice. So, there's still a lot to be done with this game, and I feel like having more than one pe one more than one person running it and trying to optimize things and trying to learn new tricks and stuff uh, would help. But I know how you feel about this game. You have a very love-hate relationship with it, and considering it crashes randomly. Uh, so I guess I get that, but. I find the shorter runs have a less chance to crash, for me at least. Um, also, s side note, um, while the Steam version is great and all, I also find the good old games version to be really, really good, because if it crashes, you can pull it up faster. So. Actually, that's the version that I'm running on. It was the one that I downloaded off of good old games. Because, uh... Surely because it's like, yeah, if it crashes, you know, I actually have something to back up. That's literally the only difference between the good old games version and the Steam version, is how quickly you can pull it back up. With, uh, with Steam, it crashes, and then you gotta wait for, like, Steam to re-sync up to the game and stuff. When it comes to good old games, it crashes, you can just pop it back up. So... I s I've, I'm just been sitting here on the credits here. I don't know what to do. <laughs> now that I got my 2944, jeez, like, what do I do at this point? That's an impressive time. Like, sub-30 is impressive for worker, because it requires good RNG. So not only do I have a sub-30 run here, but I actually managed to beat my already established sub-30 run. Jeez. 
Like, what, what, what could be better? Like, what, what in particular did I lose a lot of time in? Awake is fine, whatever. Second loss. Alright, take your time, Thermal. Maps two seconds. Cave and bubble. Second base jumps. I didn't even lose a second on that one. I screwed the splits there, so I, I couldn't tell ya. I think I was doing pretty good up until the attic split. Um... Starting again, maybe. I wanna check some things. Looks like you missed a lot. Yeah, we fucking PB'd in Worker, of all things. Uh, we lost a lot of time in Meadow, that is true. Lost a lot of time in Teleport and Phones. These three splits back to back to back were pretty bad. I think that's the most time loss that we had, though. So we save time just about everywhere else. There's a few bits of, like, couple second time losses, but whatever. Yeah, no, PB and Worker of all fucking things. That's crazy to think about. Especially when you realize that I lost a total of 14 seconds, 15 seconds, within, like, three splits. That's pretty fucking insane, actually. <laughs> 